I'm Ed Farrell, executive chef at Portobello's Restaurant here in downtown St. John's. Today we're going to be preparing one of our more popular items, our fresh Atlantic strawberry salmon with crumbled goat cheese and honey balsamic drizzle. So, we're going to start today with our fresh fingerling potatoes. And these are very nice firm potato, you get a very nice roasted texture out of them. So we're going to start with a nice hot pan, we're going to use some vegetable oil. We're going to brown up our potatoes, get a really nice color, and we're going to finish them in a very hot oven to get a nice golden color. From now we're going to add some seasoning, just some granulated salt and black pepper. You want to brown them nice on either side. Once your potatoes are a nice golden color, we're going to take the whole pan, a nice steel pan, and straight into a hot oven. Our next step is now to take our fresh salmon, never frozen, always the best. We're going to season our protein. Just a small touch of oil, not a lot. We want to get a nice sear on this salmon. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sear our salmon to get a nice golden crust. The best thing you can do to sear any type of seafood or meat is leave it. Let it do its own thing. We don't want to play with it too much or you'll end up tearing up your product. Salmon is now searing until it gets a nice golden color. We're going to turn it once and finish it in the oven. So I'm checking underneath now that the salmon is totally released from the pan and there's a very nice golden color. So now I'm going to flip. As you can see, it's a nice golden sear. It's just what we're looking for. So from this point, we're going to put it right in our hot oven. Now that our salmon's in the oven, we're going to set up the rest of our plate. So we're going to saute some very nice vegetables. We have some nice fresh asparagus and sweet bell peppers. You can use canola oil here or extra virgin olive oil, your choice for flavor. Season your vegetables always. So what we're using here now is some fresh asparagus, very firm, very nice in size. We also have some sweet bell peppers, red, orange, and yellow in color. I find they have the much sweeter flavor. So what we're looking for here is we want our asparagus to be al dente, which is tender to the tooth. We also need a nice crisp bite. Okay. I tend to like to roast my asparagus a little bit in my pan and then finish in a hot oven. The final component to our plate now would be our tarragon strawberry sauce. So we're going to start with a fresh strawberry sauce which is made from stewing fresh strawberries, honey and sugar together. And now I'm going to add our fresh cut strawberries to the mixture along with some freshly chopped tarragon. What you're looking for here is just a slight softness of the strawberries. You want them to retain their shape. So as soon as your sauce is hot, your strawberries will be warm throughout, and that's exactly where you want them. So what we've done here now is we've roasted our vegetables, our salmon, and our potatoes, all in a nice hot oven. Everything is seasoned very nicely. So now we're going to start our plating. We have our fresh fingerling potatoes. We're going to place those in the center of the plate.
The next is going to be our roasted vegetables. Then your sweet bell peppers. Now we're going to plate up our fresh salmon. The final thing we're going to do to this dish is what everybody really likes is our sauce. So our final step right now is to add our fresh strawberry tarragon sauce. And now we add some fresh crumbled goat cheese. And now we add our honey balsamic drizzle. So there we have it. This is our menu item, one of our most famous, our strawberry salmon with crumbled goat cheese and honey balsamic drizzle. You can enjoy this every week here at our restaurant, downtown St. John's, overlooking our beautiful harbor. <laughs>